Well, a funny thing happened on the way to starting this episode. Everything looked like it started. We started as if it started. And then we realized we were all alone in the studio. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Happy New Year. I've said this once already. I'm going to do it all over again. Welcome to the 101st episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show tonight is crowned the champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks for sale each round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less. And anything goes in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both their pieces of art for sale and two minutes per round in rounds nine and 10. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. Claim an artwork you want to buy this evening. Type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number. And the letter A or B, A dash, and the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round. But if you miss that window, you claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will have one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is their internet, there can be technical issues. We just had one. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser will not order or will not, may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, that dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of the dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! Ay, 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 what a start. I think we've got it figured out this time. Thank you, Alberto, for that $5 super chat so that, uh, you know, I can uh, keep, take care of the internet bills around here. Thank what, you. What can I say, everybody? I pressed go live. It didn't go live. We thought it went live. We started everything and we even did a coin flip, but it doesn't count. Show. It doesn't count, Anthony. We have to do it all over again. Anthony won the coin flip. Of course. That's a bunch of no, we gotta, we gotta re flip. We gotta re flip. That's, no. <laughs> That's only fair because our fans need to we see this to know flipped. it's real. I'm not accepting that. No, foul. I, I fans <laughs> need to see this. They do. They need to see that it they actually happened. But uh, so happy wow. new year, everybody. We, we, we said all this once already. We were so <laughs> happy and having a good time, only to find out that it, we were just having a good time together, <laughs> not with any of you here with us. Well, so, we can pre record and then let it out to the world. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, here, let me get my coin flip set up here. Uh oh, we already did what? that. But nobody saw it. No, if it, it, oh, if it didn't, if it falls in the forest that and there's nobody there, did it really make a sound? I don't think so. It's Come on, Anthony. You're a gambling man. Yeah. Trying a second turn is, uh, you know, it's it's okay. What are you it's okay. Talking about? I won the flip already. We won the flip. <laughs> no, uh, Anthony. If I no, win, I'm I going protest. second. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I protest. Oh, and Anthony wins again. Thanks. <laughs> How I is that possible? Not have a problem. Because you started. Yeah, out what do you mean? I had a problem. That. I'm Sharon sorry, Mike. Sharon would have had the problem. I mean, we wanted. I was like, yes. And she could find something else to be addict besides me. Yay! Uh, Yay! Thank you, Cumberbatch. May the cake break be with you. Of course, it will always be with us. And uh, Mr. Fish, what was that? Bill, that intro cut out for a minute. Can you do it again, please? Why did you do that? Happy New Year! Ay, 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 ay. 
Uh, and oh, Mr. Wingo, thank you so much. Do the, uh, <laughs> we do need a, uh, a, a Starlink. Happy New Year. That's about. Other, we were lucky. That would have been uh, our backup option, our only option here. But we did find a house with Spectrum when we picked this place in Florida. It was a requirement. Uh, if you don't see the coin flip, it didn't happen. See, there you go. Even Matt, Matt says uh, that's true. But Anthony has now won twice in the span of 10 minutes. So uh, it's, it's his lucky night already. I'll say. Uh-huh. Tim, Tim Soder wants to know, is Sharon Dazzler tonight? Or is she? she's just dressed up for New Year's. Yeah. yeah, that was her New Year's outfit where we went out to a really fancy wancy restaurant and they wanted to kick me out. Yeah, he was wearing sweatpants. <laughs> At least he wasn't wearing pajama pants. You go to a nice. They were solid black. I thought I was okay. And the guy he was wanted... like, I'm wearing pants. I'm like, great. But they were sweatpants. But Aye. when he said pants, I thought they were like, nice. Sharon, you shouldn't have even let him leave the house with sweatpants. I didn't right? notice because they weren't like Donald Duck. Oh, okay. brother. Thank you, Wolvie fan. Hey, Wolvie uh, fan, I, don't know I got something state, for but, you uh, in the second round. Oh, that's true. Yes, there is yes, some Wolverine Andy, art to be Andy had Martin tonight. The, the uh, oh, all right. Well, we've, we're already behind, so we got to get this, this show knows, on the road. Man, he knows that uh, black, solid black sweatpants are my dress clothes. Those that is are very, super that, dressy. That was, Look at I, him tonight. Yeah, yeah. That's what Sharpie's wearing. <laughs> a really beautiful blazer. He's got the Batman underneath, but it's a blazer. Just man. like Fish just said, Anthony's dress clothes are black sweatpants. <laughs> we on mute. I just said that. I know. Well, I'm just saying. Fish said it. All right. Well, let's see. Look, Anthony, you're starting. I assume. So uh, let's let's get this show on the road, shall we? Get this started. Let's get where, this started. Oh, where, oh, Since where we're 15 we minutes late started, because of you. India. It's all my fault. All right. Uh, another Floridian artwork here. Uh, who do we got to start here? It's we got Amanda, the color, Connor. Amanda Connor. Beautiful yes. Amanda Connor, Sharon Power Girl. You know, I I'm like trying to, to do it. <laughs> Doesn't quite She's work. never been a good blinker. Nope. Except both eyes my at the same eyes are time. Too big. <laughs> so we got the, uh, this is a about uh, eight inches tall figure on uh, a you know, is it comic board? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. No, it's kind of art board. It's not a comic board. Anthony, two years wearing. You're that eight inches tall. No, the figure is. See. Let's do the. The, you the want figure is the, the, the paper is like eleven by seventeen. The paper is eleven by nine by eleven. Nine by eleven the with an eight inch uh, Power Girl figure. Figure. Okay. That should have been gone already. What are we doing? I don't know, All but now right. we have this Dave Gibbons Rorschach. Or now we got a Dave Gibbons Rorschach. Look at that. Really cool Dave Gibbons Rorschach. $400. Get you a piece of is that Watchmen a comic art. Board, comic backing this board probably thing? is a comic backing board. It's about... Yeah, this is on a comic backing board. Uh, so, yeah, 400 It was done... Um, uh 18 years ago 18 years old so now we got those number one and number two 400 technically the dc round and then i have a marvel round coming up it does look like a date and a time dr balls i know if he did that in 32 seconds that's a good uh somebody a, had a timer on him is what i'm thinking too. yeah margaret lee's <laughs> yep exactly all I, right it's valid, though. Matter and give us to good. start you off. Hmm? Mr. Berkey, over to you for your round one artworks. Here is your one. Oh, boy. Artwork. Look at this one. Check out this beautiful 11 by 17 pinup from Matt Martin, a creator and artist of the popular book called Snowman. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the logo at the bottom is stat. Everything else is drawn artwork. But, I mean, this is unbelievably beautiful. 11 by 17 inches. Ink and pencil and ink, beautiful pinup by the great Matt Martin, artist for Snowman, and that—that's like to me, that's Bagley, that's Bagley, even better. But just a great, great, great pinup. Again, he's a comic book artist, draws the book called Snow, draws the book called Snowman, and beautiful, beautiful full pinup on eleven by seventeen artboard. Nicely done. Really, and... really nice, folks. That's the first one. And the second one by Ed Cops, beautiful Wonder Woman painting. 
full painting from 2008. I'm trying to mm -hmm. angle it so it looks just right. But beautiful, beautiful full painting. Um, this is edge to edge on 10 by 15 inch thick illustration board. Beautiful Ed Couts from 20, uh, from 2008 Killer Image. And we have a claim. Yes, we do. Thank so you, Stefan. We'll go ahead and show that and one again, we'll AR again. I want to get up close because the this piece is super duper detailed. Check that out. That's a gorgeous pinup. Again, done on 11 by 17 artboard. Looks like those feet are a little bigger than normal, just my humble opinion. But beautiful. I love his signature. That's actually a signature in the box. I love that Matt Martin, the two M's. Beautiful piece. Indeed. Thank you, Steve. Wow, I didn't and even... Thanks for... Thank you. Thank you for breaking Brent's fence. Let's be like a Coors Light commercial or something, right? right. Yep. You're not really <laughs> breaking any <laughs> ice there. <laughs> I approve on? of the ice. I approve of the eyes. Somebody asked, do you like the eyes? I approve of the breaking of the ice and of the eyes. It's definitely a McFarlane eyes there, folks. Well, yeah, the eyes are a little big, but they look all right. They look all right. Yeah, I think it looks cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, round two. Here we go. Bill is breaking the internet, says Cumberbatch. Tonight we are. We've got a couple restarts here on, th on things. But uh, over to you, Anthony, for round two. And this, as you stated earlier, was and is your Wolverine round. Wolverine. Oh, Clayton snick, Crane. Snick, 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 bloody claws. I said that. Bloody claws by the hot, hot Clayton Crane. Uh, should be gone already. Okay. So this is on... <laughs> This is on a eight and a half, yeah, eight and a half by eleven comic board, and bloody claws. I got to. I'm gonna push this one in together because somebody might want both of these. And then on uh, on two uh, B we have a Mark Silvestri. Wow, nice. So you got bloody claws and smoking. Woo, smoking. That's hot. And bloody claws. Matt Tatulio, my friend. Woo! Claim! Yep. Put that out there for Matt. Here, write Matt on that. Thank you very much, Matt. And what about... Oh, Thank you. Look at this one. Sylvestri. I, this is a good one. This is well it's worth amazing. it. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking. Where's that my cigar too, from like... From like three weeks ago, I had it around here somewhere. Uh, no, I all right. Smoke you this. need a pair, nice Sylvester. Okay, there's usually one underneath your chair, if I recall correctly. One a dusty one, chair, dusty one on the floor. Okay, I've seen, well, I've seen I like to do them. he likes to smoke them, <clears throat> but with his uh healing factor, does it really affect him? Like in Logan, he was drinking so much, but. Nah, he can nah, smoke right? as much as he wants. Happy day! Wow, look at all that money. Yeah, it right. must be nice. Yeah, right. Yeah. It must be. <laughs> oh man! All right, round two over to you, Mike. Let's see what you brought. Ah, here we go. Paulo Sakira. Round two, check this out. These are, these are actually cover images from Star Wars The Hidden Empire. You see the six images across uh, the top of it. This is the cover portraits images. It's done on 11 by 17 uh, artboard. They had it ruled off, but they used the top six slots on it. But by the great Paolo Sequera, Sequeria, check it out. The, uh, from Star Marvel Comics, Star Wars Hidden Empire number one, the cover by Paolo Sequeria. We have uh, pencil and ink images of uh, Kira, Darth Vader, Palpatine, Dr. Afra, and two Knights of Ren. They're all pencil and inked, and they're, again, they're, they're used across the top row of Star Wars, The Hidden Empire number one on the, the cover. So that's at the very top of the cover to the first issue, the original art uh, corner images. Very nice. Very cool. So that's the first one. Second one, by the great Jose Delbo. I love this piece. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is from the DC Superpowers Fun Book. Uh, beautiful pinup from the 1980s. Features a great scene with the Riddler watching Superman 
battling a giant robot as Batman rows a boat to try to help him. Again, it's done on 16 and a half by 11 and a half inch DC artboard. And part of the pencils are on the back, but that's a fully finished. So they have some pencils on the back and, and uh, the full pinup. And it's done on, yeah, it's done on DC stock artboard. Good production notes, but this is 100% published, folks. And I just thought really cool. Jose Delbo art is so hot right now. Very cool uh, 1980s full pinup. I love uh, Batman and the rowboat. Yeah. <laughs> and and Mike, you just said 11. I just have to tell you that. You said 17 and 11. You said 11. You said 11. Mike, offer. We have an offer. What is that? 400. Where was that one? Oh, uh, let's see. It's from uh, Rick okay. on the Star Wars art, artwork. He's uh, art, Rick's offering you 400, and you were at 500, Mike. You know, I was gonna say I was gonna meet in the middle at 450. If you just say four and a quarter, Rick, it's yours for four and a quarter. That's fine. Really nice piece. Just let us know, and it's yours. All right. So back to Rick at four and a quarter on Mike's two A artwork. One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. I'm oh, sorry. Oh boy. That sounds like a Go small ass Alice. <laughs> if she's ten feet tall or something like that. That is, uh, yeah, you got that. We're gonna have a uh, musical here one night, I think. We should. We should. She can I, do it. I can't. I'll get Chris, and I'll stay shut up. All right, so Rick is passing at the moment, but uh, we're moving on okay, to well, round. Uh, for right now, it's four and a quarter. If somebody wants it, and that goes to Rick as well. Four and a quarter. I'm lowering that seventy-five bucks just to keep things rolling. I like that. That's very well done. That's like quarter box art. Yeah, Pretty exactly. Much. And you get six of them. I can't believe it. it takes up the whole half of the artboard. <laughs> All right, round three over to you, Anthony. What have we got in store for everyone now? Your 3A artwork is by Jose Garcia Lopez. All right, well, I got some Jose Garcia Lopez art uh, that sort of uh, makes more sense. Uh, but... That <gasps> Look, this is it's like my cake, and cake. it's got uh, the Sharon's favorite uh, extraterrestrial villain, Starro. Oh. Yeah, so we got uh, Jose Garcia Lopez, JLA classified, Martian Manhunter versus Starro. Yeah, and getting kicked in the face by somebody. It's Looks awesome. like a female villain. Uh, but you know, if you're a Martian Manhunter fan. And, you know, if you watch Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, I mean, Martian Manhunter figured big into those two shows. And, uh, <clears throat> I, you know, I never was a fan before then the, when I watched those and rewatched those shows all the time. And of his storylines, John Jones. I am John Jones. Next up, Stuart Immonen. Stuart Immonen. Now, this one's really cool when I was saving it for the show because it had a ton of characters. Just like how many characters, but then look at that shot, that great panel of Angela. Very, uh, you know, that kind of uh, uh, Marvel imported uh, over from Spawn and McFarlane. If anybody knows that deal, I'd like to know how that uh, how that one happened. So you got a great shot of Angela in a all new X Men by Stuart M. -M, 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 -M. Okay. Very nice inks on that page. And uh, thank you to Comics Argo for picking up Mike's 2A artwork for 425 Thanks so much. All right. Action, action. We want action. Oh, I want to just say that I'm, I am I told everybody I'd do a drawing for that uh, that text splash. And yeah, who I got will. it? Huh? Did you do the drawing? No, not yet. I'm going to do it Monday. And oh. I'm going to do okay. another drawing for all claimers tonight. On Monday as well. So that brings some more action to Monday night for my special show that me and Bill are doing for the Warehouse Ask Force. There you have it. And uh, Human Spider, the artist was... No, I've lost it. There it is. Uh, Matt Martin was the artist on the Matt piece. Matt Martin he does wrote. a book called Snowman. So there you have it. Okie dokie. Round three over to Mr. Berkey. Soul, thank you for that one. Comics are going. That is true. Here is your 3A, Mike. Beautiful piece here, folks. I love the back as much as the front. But anyway, 
We have a beautiful Electra full painting done on 9.1 by 12.2 in jarboard. Beautiful full painting, right? It's actually done on like a canvas board, but it's beautiful. But listen, look at it. You turn it over. I hate to say it. I don't know why he did it, but I like the back as much as the front. He'd cut up a beautiful larger pinup with Vampirilla and this big old monster. I think that side is almost better. You get them both. So the back of it is this beautiful, beautiful uh, Vampirilla. And the front is a beautiful full painting of Electra. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Again, by the great Gonzalo Mayo, uh, it's undated, but the back of it is clearly pr from the 80s. And, and more than likely, this is this is newer. But this is def but I'd say the back is probably from the 80s. All right, next but up. A beautiful, beautiful piece. 9.1 by 12.2 inches. So that's the first, that's that one. Now, this, this was a homage cover from the boys. Published cover, Red Sonia by John McRae from Samurai Sonia number one. And there's the there's the published comic book there on the bottom right. But we got a copy, just goes to show you it was an homage to the a boys cover he had done. So really, really nice 11 by 17 cover. From uh, done on 11 by 17 artboard. Uh, oh, also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention you get the detailed pencil prelim there comes with it as well. That prelim bill is showing there is on eight and a half, on, uh, eight and a half by 11 inch artboard. That comes with the published art, and this is all drawn. All the backgrounds are all drawn. There's no stats on this. Just a beautiful. <laughs> published cover. Right in Times Square. And you get Square. the prelim with it. All right. A couple oh, nice geez. pieces. I didn't, I'm stupid me. I didn't even realize the prelim was done on the back of the uh, boys. Uh, I didn't even realize that. So there's. The, I'm looking for the prelim, and there it was. So there you go. Now you, you know. You get them both at that price, just nine fifty. Okay. Sorry, I was just reading through the chat a little yeah. bit. But uh, all right, we'll move on to round four. You ready, Anthony? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. You look very content over there. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, you know, I've got to spend some quality time with my wife lately. It's good. Yeah, good for you. Uh, all right, next up, here you go, round four. This because none but her can calm the fury in my soul. All right, so Ernie Chan, 1976. Look Too at that. Kurt. Uh, and it's got that sort of intro to the 66 Batman show vibe going on, do, 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 you know? So this is pretty vintage, and this is 11 by 14 paper with a nice big, big Batman on it, full color. Colors are looking good. Colors are great. No, no, <clears throat> no fading whatsoever. Nice, bright colors of the batman yeah i love Ooh. his uh 1976 1976 very How old very nice that, Bill? i was eight okay and it's not yeah, and big. my goodness we're seeing the riddler again tonight now another riddler okay so this is a 19 uh a 19 no a 2006 recreation of a splash page that he did riddler on the rampage with batman robin and riddler so this is on an 11 by 17 board and uh looks really good great tight i mean he has still had his chops here really uh great fully realized pencil and ink version of this splash recreation yes it's a recreation it's cool Nicely done by Ernie Chan. Okay, so that's my Batman round. Oh, look, Mike's frozen. Oh, no, he's bat. He's we were worried there. Mike, your arm was like up here like this, like you were uh having a fit. Oh, he's still doing it. Yeah, you should be in a cool pose when you do that. There you go. All right, round four over to you, Mr. Berkey. What do we got? We have a color piece, a rare. Oh man, color piece. you're not gonna believe this. Second this is one. a beautiful painting. Check out this huge Ralph Reese Eats. This is, a, a, I call it an Al Feldstein slash Wally Wood homage recreation. This piece is drawn. The actual drawn art image is 14 by 
22 inches. Check this out. Check out the detail. You know, Ralph Reese, I believe, had a studio with Wally Wood, but this was basically a tip in the hat, tip of the hat to Wally Wood and Al Felsing. Just a great in homage, like an EC uh, painting and uh, done in the done in the EC style. But just a great piece, uh, science fiction confrontation between humans and space monster in a futuristic spaceship. As we see one man's body ripped in half there. Are you kidding me? Look at those intestines. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. And then, of course, the sexy babe and the guy with the ray gun bailing the crazy monster. Just a great piece. 14 by 22 inches by the great Ralph Reese from 2009. Signed at the bottom left. Wow. That is a doozy of a doozy piece. Pretty cool here. You get a prelim. Uh, Boba Fett by the by the great Yvald Gachet of Chewbacca and Boba Fett mixed media, beautiful Star Wars pin up there. Check that out and sign there at the bottom. Uh, just a beautiful piece wash pin up. Uh, Chewbacca and Boba Fett on 11 by 17 artboard and signed at the bottom. And then you get as an extra bonus, you get the Luther free Boba Fett. He started another pin up and stopped. That comes with it as a gift uh, with it, a Boba Fett pinup. But this is the money piece, Chewbacca and Boba Fett with great backgrounds. Yeah, it's actually a different Wookiee. It's from the uh, Mandalorian. Uh, oh, it's not Chewbacca? We're... No, it's uh, it's well, a couple oh. of people mentioned it. Yeah, Black Crant oh. Santan. I didn't even know there was such a character. Okay. You got to well, watch Disney Plus, Chewbacca. Mike. You got to watch that? Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> into that. Well, hey, that Ralph Reese was awesome too. By the way, I think that's pretty cool. Oh man, that is! An, I love the, the detail on this piece is just stunning. And again, it's be a fanzine cover. Uh, it's just humongous. It's cool, it's gorgeous. Ralph Reese is a pretty cool guy too. I mean, is I loved always. Yeah, it was good art back in the Who day. He does good stuff. He was he, wow. was he was he was he was very active in the '70s. I mean. In comics and 80s you know what too. i don't know if this is published or not uh but i bought it in a deal so if it was published i would have looked it up to figure the character but i had no reference to look it up so it might be published i don't know but i'm selling it as i'm published okay round yeah, five I'm not a star wars fan to be honest with you i don't watch the movie sorry to me that's chewbacca so to me it's chewbacca and boba fett sorry <laughs> At least you got one of them right. All right. Yep. Uh, round five. Back to the Snyder Chewbacca's residence. Kid, Black Dracula or whatever you call them. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Round five over to you, Anthony. What do we got here? A Thunderbolts variant cover. I got, I got Sharon in the 1920s or 30s here. Look at that. <clears throat> we got the a published cover from Thunderbolts. It's a, a from 134 variant uh, in these uh, sort of... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call that style? Uh, deco. Deco splasher spinner. You went to a party one time like that. You dressed yeah, like that. Yeah, nineteen twenties. Like yeah, twenties flapper party. Yeah, um, it's flapper style. Yeah. And and it's a published cover. So I have that uh, the Sepulveda Thunderbolts. That is and Black Widow. Yeah, it's all pencil. Uh, Black Widow with uh, a little Ant Man holding a Tommy gun, like an old style gangster, and that old style car. So the car, is, the car is very cool. And so is the girl. Yeah. Now, uh oh, look at that. Now we got a three quarter David Finch. I really like that. Yeah, this one. You like yeah, this one? I like that a lot. Yeah, young Sharon. Pretty. I like her face. Beautiful eyes. She's got you, you know. Yeah, it's all. It's very finished pencils on the Thunderbolts, and then the, the David Finch is um, uh, pencils and inks, all him from 2012. So it's 11 years old. Yay! <laughs> Thought that Finch would be a fast mover. I no cake for you. Eat it. <laughs> that Gotta is a funny beans. one. <laughs> is there any I like salad, just so long as I get enough dressing on it. 
Yeah, that was no dressing. <laughs> no dressing. Ah, uh, too bad. I didn't know that. Hey, Jason, I, that was that an offer that you made when you when you told him six hundred dollars? I just thought you were telling him he had to cut the price in half because he didn't know Chewbacca. So I did. I didn't think that was an offer. But uh, what's that know. character's name again? Chewblackula? What's his name? Ay ay ay. Isn't that what Is that said? a serious question? That's. It was not a serious know. question. Come on. All what's right, moving right again? along. No? Moving, moving right along. Round what's five over to you, Mike. Is he son ready, of Mike? Chewbacca at least? Not son of Chewbacca. Or a relative? I don't know. Did Check it take this out, place folks. before oh, or after? Oh, my goodness gracious. Wait, there he is. Check Drew out Burton. this awesome Nick Bradshaw Burton. Silver Surfer illustration. Done on 17 by 11 inch artboard. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. Setting all of the spaceways. Cruising the stars in this great cosmic scene. Rendered in mixed media on a 17 by 11 inch artboard. Wow. I love it. It almost looks like he's uh, in sign there in the bottom left, too. 2022. Beautiful. Nick Bradshaw, Silver Surfer. Are you kidding me? That is nice. And it's on 11 teams. And I love They actually used a little bit of, they actually used white paint on it for a lot of the white effects on it. So very, very cool. Nick Bradshaw, great, great Silver Surfer. Uh, pinup. So that's the first one. And next up, Duke next Nukem. One, boy, if you remember the video games, J.K. Snyder published cover, Duke Nukem Glorious Bastard number one from 2011. This is actually a painted cover I'm done on thick board. Duke Nukem Glorious Bastard number one cover from 2011. Snyder creates a killer Duke Nukem action scene with two babes below him. As he blows away a hog warrior in the head. Check out that, that craziness. Holy moly. And again, mixed media and paints on, on 11 by 15 and a half rigid artboard. Very, very cool piece. Duke Nukem, that was a serious popular video game back in the day, folks. Who knew Mike was full of alive. sugar and spice and everything nice? Uh, yes, Duke Nukem. Awesome. Love it. And uh, I saw Anthony, you answered that question. It was on 11 by 17, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, the clock started up again. That's weird. But uh, we will reset it. Anthony, we hurry, later. hurry. You're started. <laughs> I, sure. I don't, I don't mind. I'm just teasing. Uh, and that's very true, man. I, I played uh, Duke Nukem was my first land game to play. Really? And, uh, yeah, I played on a land with uh, a I friend in downtown Cleveland. Eventually, it was wow. my uh, at a publishing place that I ended up working for. So, all right, over to you, Anthony, for round six. What have you brought for us now? What have we brought? We have Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. Look at that. Young blood. Young blood. This just came in, so I'm the day budding it oh, on pencil. the dueling dealers. A oh, book young blood, uh, full figure, splashy figure page uh, by the Rob of the Leafeld from Young Blood. Now, so it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Does it have feet? Yeah, it's got you know covered feet. And it's got a bunch of little characters down there. It's got a bunch of characters going on. So it went from a full splash figure to headshot to like a wide shot with a lot of little figures. <laughs> this blood's for you. I like that. Hmm? Someone said, this blood's for you. Like, All this right. blood's for you. So this one I liked a lot because it had so many characters it's got cap sharon black widow nick fury uh, a couple other shield shieldy type people and then crossbones wow so it just kind of works its way through the page uh, it's a beautiful uh steve epstein uh page from the the series that started it all captain america number two page 21 and uh, uh just oh man just how all those 
all those headshots hold their weight and but differently is is very very strong art to me yes alberto you were complaining last week we know had great no page. captain america hmm? it, it's great i love it it's a very nice page yeah and um matt Tatuli wants to know oh, if we I, got if captain america matt, today i'm uh i played Quake in the Red Annihilation tournament at E3. So yes, I'm very familiar with Quake. I was one of the first people to start uh, doing clan stuff. So yeah, I I'm an original uh, gamer. So Mike, over to you for round six. Are you ready? You look ready. I what am we got here? ready. Mike Vosberg. Another published cover, folks, by the great Mike Vosberg on 11 by 17 inch art artboard. Lori Lovecraft, Dark Inheritance number one, published cover. Signed at the bottom from uh, 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 Vosper creates a sultry image of the Lovecraft with two cats in a movie studio. Check out meow. Check out those kitty cats at the bottom. And the luscious babe again, at the top what, of the movie what kind of sound? What's what that? Kind of sound, what, what kind of sound do the cats make? Meow. Thank you. Right there at the bottom. Yep. Very cool. Signed by Vosper twice in the yard and below the yard. And Bill is showing. There's the published cover right there on the bottom right. Very cool. Um, and again, it's done on 11 by 17 artboard by the great Mike Vosberg, pencil and inks. So that's the All first right. one. Second one for you Black Spider-Man fans from the 1980s. Are you kidding me? Black Spider-Man from 1988 from Marvel Fanfare number 42. Carl Pops and Terry Shoemaker from the story titled Windfall. A rare 1980 Spider-Man page for under two grand. It's pretty much unheard of. Spider-Man in his black costume is in the top three panels, changing into uh, changing to Peter Parker as he's trying to hurry up and get to the bank to cash a check. And signed at the bottom by Terry Schumer. This is probably one of your only chances to get a 1980 Spider-Man page for under two grand. Let me tell you that. And then the published image is on the bottom right, but uh, it is the published page. And again, it's signed by Shoemaker on the back from 1988 also. And signed at the bottom by him. Thank you, Marvel fan. Number one Marvel fan for the uh, $5 Super Chat. He is absolutely right. Come on, everybody. Hit that thumbs up. Nick's not here to tell us to do it. Got to do it, right? We got 245 people watching the show right now. We should easily be at like 100 now. I mean, 125, 140. Let's do it. We can get to 200 for the end of the show. With all the mistakes we've made, we deserve, we, we need the thumbs up to feel better about ourselves after the way this thing started today. All right. Over to you, Make your Andy. offers, folks. We're here. Mike and Anthony are always in the chat when the other guy's up. Willing and ready to take your offers. So, Anthony, round seven Here's over Spidey. to you. I sense a theme here. Bill Ward. Yep. I got some really, 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 really nice Bill Wards. So this one is on these large Conti papers. These one were usually published many times in the Humorama books. It's the super hot secretary on the boss's desk. Uh, I don't know what these uh, uh, this genre of cartoons would have been if if not for the, uh, the misogynistic uh, you know boss's secretary thing. And it actually has. It's such a beautiful day. I just dropped in to see if I could take take your wallet for a walk. Oh, it's his wife. Ah, oh. she looks in control there. <laughs> yeah. So measure this one, Sharon. Now this one is a va va voom, Sharon. Twenty one by fifteen. This one. And this one's even larger. This Whoa, one's is even it? larger. Seriously? Yeah. Let's go. This one is 24 by 16 by 24. 16 by 24. Look at that. It's only 16? Is, yeah. there, is, is there a caption with it, Anthony? You yeah, this one caption. is, I have everything a man could ask for. But it isn't for the asking. Look, Anthony. What? You said it was 16. It's 17. Aw. And these are uh, very well cared for. Not a lot of damage because they were done on tissue paper. <laughs> so they, uh, 
This one is... Hulk, what is the size of your artwork? Let's find out. Uh, 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 11 by 17 inches. You, I think you meant 11 by 17 inches. But yeah. anyway, hey, Anthony, you actually got an offer during your round from Greg Teagues. He was offering you uh, $400 on your 2B. That was the Sylvester Wolverine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What say you, Anthony? You take the Greg's lead. Oh, offer. No. Uh, I'm going to counter on that one. Whoa. No, I'll just take it. <laughs> oh, make it easy. All right, Greg. Thank Yay! you. Congratulations on that one. So Thank 2B is so going much. to Greg for $400. Yay, Greg Teagues. 2B or not 2B? It is 2B. It is, it is 2B. 2B. So both the... See, hey, so there you go, Anthony. Wolverine sell. I know. I'm just trying to mix it up. I got Wolverine. I got uh, Racky Babes from Bill Ward. You know, you got to... I know. Whole, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's nice whole, to see the Bill Wards of that cal caliber. That's gorgeous uh all right over to you mike for round seven one round one and a half rounds until cake break everybody so here one and is... a half rounds wow bill yes getting technical i'm just trying okay, to pay you them. folks check this out half splash you alex saviak fans this is 30 years old are you kidding me with spidey throughout from the story titled scales of justice Drawn by Alex Savick. Thus, a picture sp features Spider Man in the bottom three panels, battling the lizard and Warrant with a back with a full splash of Warrant and the lizard battling at the top, and then Spider Man in all three bottom large panels, trying to stop the both of them from killing each other. But really, really cool. Nineteen ninety three page from Web of Spider Man number one eleven, and of course, again, you get that half splash. So very, very cool piece for you Spidey fans. That's the first one. Second one for you Russ Heath fans. Russ Heath art is going crazy at auction. I love this. Again, this is another half splash. Very, very cool. From 1971, folks, this is 52 years old. From the story titled War Story. This nice semi-splash features Sergeant Rock and Easy Company. Shooting guns and taking on serious damages. Tony leaps in the water to, around a moat behind a castle to help try to win the battle. Very, very cool with Sergeant Rock and the whole team there. Butter, 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 brada, 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 pow, pow, pow. Tada, tada, tada. Are you kidding me? Well, you were full of sound effects tonight, Mike. Bam, bam, bam. You know what? This should have been a Flintstone page. Bam, bam. <laughs> And it's it's a very 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 nice Russ Heath piece. Boy, there. great Saviak and a great Heath. I thought one of those two would have gone, folks. Wow, <laughs> good stuff. Ay ay ay. It is funny because I have Alex Saviak Spider Man, and I was staring at uh, Russ Heath page. I've been holding back to uh, for this show, but I didn't use it. <laughs> hey, Mike, you had oh, a, 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 a rather. Funny. If you can answer it in 10 seconds or less, Human Spider uh, 2007 said, Mike, is Alex web pages uh, any cheaper or are uh, most 1K or more? Oh, you can't get a page with Spider Man on it for under $1,500 anymore. That's what I was thinking too. You can't. I mean, the best, best battle pages go for around 22 to 25 now. It's well, crazy. I got 4,000 for, uh, for the 69 uh, issue. That's right. I remember you had one with him. Yeah. But that, mean, that's guess, from a very special issue where, you know, Spidey gets contaminated by Hulk and turns into the Hulk yeah. Spidey mashup. And I, I say, think I smell some mashup later in the show. As Marcus pointed out, it is cheaper than Ditko, though. So, and yeah, anybody that, else how's that going for it? I will say back in 1997, I still remember meeting Alex Saviak at a MegaCon in Florida, and I bought 100 pages off him for 35 bucks a page. But they were all the best, best battle pages. But that was 1997. So back in the day, 25 years ago, Mike. All right, we're on now to round eight now. Years ago. Wow! Just one round until cake break, everybody. All right, Anthony, what did you bring for round eight to get us started? A Pablo Marcus Savage Sword of Conan back cover from 1995. Yeah, look at that. It's got Conan bound 
Wrapped up by mystical forces <laughs> with a babe and a big serpent. Now, this is Savage Sword 2. It's marked uh, 233 cover 4, which means we're a back cover. Uh, and that would be uh, he was doing not only like inside front his pieces, that would be, you know, inside front cover would be cover two and then inside back cover would be cover three. And then this would be cover four, which would have been a back, back pinup. So I uh, believe this to be a, a published back pinup with a great figure of anatomy from uh, a man and woman and serpent, right? All right. This is on an 11 by 17 board. This is Pencils and Inks by Pablo. Completely finished and clean and not a speck of white out on it. It's gorgeous. It is. Next up, you got an Elsewhen page by Mr. John. Yeah, Burton. this is one I was toying with keeping since the, the thing is sort of my avatar for the show. But look at this one. This one, Thing, he's got a multiple image of catching the car and then Dr. Doom blasting him. So it's the Thing versus Dr. Doom Elsewhen page by John Byrne on these oversized boards. They're all uh, they're all oversized into Elsewhen, else what. This is uh, 12 by, I'm going to guess, 18. 12 by 19. Is that Dr. Doom? It's for you. Is it a buyer? I think so. Hello, Mr. Buyer. Are you out there? Is anybody out there? Is this is this machine work? Hello. Twenty uh, century yeah, technology. So yeah, Doctor Doom. You got Doctor Doom on it, blasting the thing as he tries to throw a car at him, and this huge John Byrne signature that's worth a hundred bucks by itself. Just by itself. All right, round eight over to the Berkster, I guess. Uh, what, what do you got there? What do you got in your hands, Mike? Let's this see. This is a public Joe cover. Simon. Check this out. The co-creator of Captain America in 1941. This is a Joe Simon published front and back cover from a book called The Comic Book Makers. This is the front and back cover. Check it out with Stuntman juggling Captain Marvel, Captain America, Stuntman, and Superman. Are you kidding me? By, and it's signed by Joe Simon, but this was published as the front cover right there. Bill has it at the bottom there. It was published as the front cover and the back cover of a book back in 2007. Uh, just a great, great piece drawn on, painted on 16 by 20 inch illustration board. The actual art image itself is 12 by 14 inches, but then on 16 by 20 inch illustration board. But I mean, how many times do you get such an iconic a co-creator of Captain America in 1941. You get an opportunity to get a cover with Captain America on it and Captain Marvel and Superman and Stuntman uh, uh, juggling himself, all of them. But published cover from 2007 by the co-creator of Captain America. I can't believe it. And there's actually more art underneath. For whatever reason, they put paper here just to have a straight line. But the art actually goes a lot lower. Get Marvel and DC. Published cover, folks. Wow. Check this out. By the great uh, 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 Fastener and Larson uh, from Steve Fastener, Pencil, uh, and uh, uh, Larson. Uh, Rich. Rich Larson, I'm sorry. Painted, but beautiful. Published 19. There's an overlay over it. Let me, let me pull it up. But it's from 1992, the Dark World Portfolio. If you look on the bottom, the very bottom image is this piece. But it was, it was number seven uh, from... <laughs> Titled Warrior Woman, beautiful pinup, black and white plate uh, with wash tones, with a girl on top of a defeated giant lizard king as she puts her foot in his mouth. Are you kidding me? Man, well, how, how rude! Inches and signed by both artists uh, in the lower left, but published 1992 portfolio plate. Hey, Mike, you did get an offer from Comic Art Boston. Yes, on the Joe Simon at sixteen hundred dollars. You were at two thousand dollars. Uh, comic card. I'll tell you what. I'll meet you in the middle. I'll do eighteen hundred on it for you. All right. So Mike is dropping his uh, one of the eight creators eight. of our hobby. Wow. To eighteen hundred dollars for uh, Comic Card Boston. 
So, uh, so I'm watching the other chats going on. Uh, all right. So it is. Well, back. Here's going oh, for, uh, well, well fish, do you want it for 1900? But I already said 1800 fish. If you want it for 1800. Comic cards coming back at 1750. What is the first 1800 gets it. So there you go. I'm low. Right, so, bucks. so you're going to sit at 1800 for right now. I thought that was a joke fish. But uh, all right, so uh, Mike's sitting at eighteen hundred dollars for right now, and uh, thank you for that offer. And I'll hold it with your other stuff, buddy. I'm fine with that. So it's the end of round eight. What time is it? Uh, Ten o'clock. I I thought I'd get a get my meme play, but I'm gonna have to do it myself. It's cake break time, everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Like that ended too fast. What is that? Was it? Is? Yeah, it's cake break time, everybody. Yay! <laughs> the cutest cupcake. Okay. We needed more cupcake. sprinkles. Mm-hmm. Always need more sprinkles. All right. More sparkles. I hate sprinkles. If she Got wants me to not eat something, put sprinkles on it. Cab has taken the uh, Joe Simon art at eighteen hundred. Nice pickup oh, uh, there. Yeah, that's a great piece. It's upside down in Mike's hand, but it's a wonderful piece of artwork. Thank you. Comic twice card, it's yours. On the same book. On the front and back. All right. So Sharon, what have you? Yeah, I saw. I heard I heard about that. Why don't you tell everybody what happened to your problem. glasses? Okay, so I, I usually wear my glasses on top of my head and I'm making the cake and I'm like getting the cakes out of the oven and I guess they must have fallen onto the rack. I thought they fell onto the floor, but they didn't. So I had like shrinky dink glasses <laughs> and they look pretty cool, I think, except you can't see out of them anymore. <laughs> Trap money, well, my, they're my, good. My least favorite part of them is that you can't see your beautiful eyes I've, when you wear them. I baked my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it. What did you bake? It was. I think it was. All right. To All right, celebrate so the new very year. Very big. Very big. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. I'm kind of scared to move this thing. Okay, here it is. Here it comes. All right, you got to show the whole thing. All right. I guess I have to pick it up. Is that like a bottle of champagne exploding? Yes. Okay, don't don't touch it. All right, am I helping you? I don't know. It's a dueling deals of comic book art, the Magnum. Ah, ha, ha. Brought to a... you by Comic Art Live. Look at that, and it's exploding in joy. I mean, uh, uh, yes, I made opening. a chocolate cake. That with is spice amazing. Cake. And kind of like a Moe and Shandong kind of cake. That has to be one of the tallest cakes ever. Yeah, I I went to the hardware store for this cake. It was it was very much a project. (laughs) She went to the hardware store. Yeah, there's PVC pipe in this cake. You have some alcohol in that cake? No, (laughs) no. Rum. I, w- I almost made a champagne cake, but I decided not to. Yeah, how do you bake that thing? Is it, Paul Pappas wants to know if it's edible. No, it's, it's, it's six. Except for the wires. Six inch round cakes and then a, a couple of four inch round cakes. And then I sculpted it and then stuck the pipe in it. And Stick then, a pipe in it. And it's chocolate. I thought that was my job. <laughs> chocolate ganache and Whoa. fondant. And isomalt, which is the splash and the the comic art live. Oh, look at that! There. The logo's on there. That's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Yay! And the label, of course. And yeah. EDOCA. That Yay. is unbelievable, Sharon. And it was all her idea. This was one I didn't have any suggestions in. And it took her like. How many hours? Oh my god! I don't know. <laughs> I get lost when I'm. I hope you get to stuff. enjoy eating it's some so of much it. So fun! I love doing it. Mister Easy Go Lucky wants to know how you managed to do that. Uh, you know the splash at the top. 
that was difficult. It's isomalt, so it's really hot. It's like a liquid, and then you pour it, and then you have to wait till it's the perfect temperature, and then you can kind of move it around. And then if it breaks, then you blow torch it or use like a creme brulee kind of gun thing, like a flame torch, and then you can refix it. You can remelt it and sculpt it again. Oh, that's so cute. We got a lot of wives coming in just for the cake cake break. Yay! Yay! Yay. That is awesome. But this is uh I would this is a sculpture, right? Sharon? Yeah. This is not yeah. This is not something you can cut up and eat at a party. Well, you can, but there's like um cake there's like cake boards in between each layer. Well, in between each two layers, there's like cake board and so but if you want it as a living but sculpture, let's go. I forgot the straws. <laughs> I forgot to put the straws in. So, But it's made out of spice cake. That was really good. I was having some on the side. Her shavings. I eat Sharon's shavings. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sharon, Yay! well, you, as I say it every week, but uh, it's it's true. You, you outdid yourself on this one. It, it is gorgeous. That was absolutely spectacular. I've never never seen one Woo! like that. That's you should have taken that to the New Year's party. They would have let you get in for free, probably. Right? Yeah. Like no, they would have kicked us out for bringing in our own dessert. Oh, for not exactly. wearing pants, yeah, they don't Anthony. Love it. That is why they would have kicked you out. And yeah, the sweatpants. Sweat You're wearing sweatpants. Sweat pants. Sweat pants and bringing your own dessert. Yeah. And four hundred dollars <laughs> later. <laughs> oh well. Oh boy. All right. Well, thank you as always, Sharon. You're it's you, such an impressive Bill, cake. And happy new year. Love you and love the show. And I'm so happy that I have this. Mm -hmm. I, I have this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm it's, I'm just so it's, blessed. If it worked for you. So happy. You know, you're the one who came in with the cake on episode one. <laughs> Remember that? Did she this, edit episode one? Episode, episode one. one. Sure. Well, I thought we had to congratulate me on doing a show like this. Uh, it was more like uh, it was. Uh, Anthony was food. hungry, and she brought in cake to feed Anthony. And there you go. That was the best cake she's ever made, flavor and wise. From from a uh, Great British Bake Off. I, I still I still want to redo that cake. It was it was just just perfect chocolate raspberry cake, very edible. She was only thinking about making edible ones then. Yeah. Now yeah. I just want to decorate. And now she's making stuff. sculptures and I art, don't care how they art. taste. That's bad, but <laughs> whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it is gorgeous. I was trying to find the uh, that first cake, but I can't find it. I know it's in here somewhere, but uh, but yes, episode one. You brought the cake in on a red plate, gave it to Anthony at the end of round it. eight. <laughs> And uh, a, a theme was made that has stuck with us ever since. Yay. Thank you so much. And Happy New Year, everybody. Cheers. Yay. Yay. I wish there was really champagne in there. I could pour it over your head. And, oh. and get it all over the art. No. That's another day. Another day. Exactly. Well, it's, a, it's every other show, usually, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. And uh, now we're going to move on to round nine. I know we've got... There's Jason, there's some... if you want to come over and watch football one Sunday, I'll have her make a cake for us. Have... We can watch the, the, the guppies go down again. If I want to make a cake. Oh, come on. Me and Jason are uh, fans of eating. She's got to be in the mood to make the cake. Nicely and then I'll do it. Oh, I got to ask nicely. There you go. All right. Let us get round nine started here, Anthony. So uh, you are up. And where is it? Okay, this is your this is your round with the multiple pieces of art. So we're going to go quick on these as best we can be. We get two minutes yeah, now sure. for uh, rounds nine and ten. So That's first no up. Problem. I mean, these came in this week, uh, and I just wanted to date bottom. Now, this one is really cool. This is a 1962 large art Dan DiCarlo story, complete. It's only three pages. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, and it's about stamp collecting, which was very popular still back in 1962, and it's uh, got Reggie and Veronica, I mean, uh, yeah, Reggie and Veronica, and then he, the gag is he, and Jughead, Jughead uh, takes the world stamp book and trades it for food. 
to to the uh, yeah for, to the chef. So these are three large art page one two three complete story, complete story. Okay. Now that uh, Dan DeCarlo, that's a good one. That's pretty much as good beautiful. as Dan DeCarlo gets, except this next one. Wow. All right. This one, I wanted to get this out, you know, while uh, Christmas was still fresh in our minds. This is from X-Men Stocking, or Christmas Stocking. And you got Betty, you got Sharon with the presents, and Reggie. Yeah, me, I guess. And look at that. This is a five, six-page complete story, large art from 1960. Uh, 60- Six, 66, just all kinds of Christmas stuff going on. And you got the the kid from Toy Story with his toy rocket and Christmas trees and Reggie being a Scrooge. Really, really great story, complete. You know, it's so hard to find these complete uh, anymore because you get them and you break them up. And there's a Santa and Reggie tackles Santa. He got my boy. And look at that nice uh, Christmas party with everybody. Oh, come on, guys. I can't eat my hat. <laughs> See, and you know what I just found? I found I just found that cake bit here, right here, Anthony. The first episode. Uh, let me take a picture. One more time. There you go. First episode of the show. And that was probably uh, Sharon's first appearance on the show, too, because she wasn't sitting with you during that episode. Right. Uh, Mike, you did get an offer on your 7B Russ Heath from uh, Peter, who's offering you $1,200. And uh, what were you at at that piece? I can't recall. Um, $1,800. $1,800? Mm-hmm. Was I at 1800? Yeah, you were at 18. Yeah, I can't do 1200 on it. I'm sorry. Peter, I could do, I could do, uh, I'll do 1550 on it. I was going to say 1600. I'll knock off 250. I could do 1550 on it. All right. From so that's, 1971. Uh... And again, this isn't just a regular war page. This is a Sergeant Rock page with the entire Easy Company with them on there. So. All right. So 1550 back to Peter on your 7B. Artwork yeah. and right, Nick. I agree with you. Two hundred and forty-five people watching, and we only have one hundred and thirty likes. How is that possible? Hit that thumbs up, everybody. Hulk say, smash that like button. <laughs> or wait, we all help people. Hulk say, smash that like button. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, Peter did come back to you at fourteen hundred. Uh, probably the lowest I'm going to go is 1500, 1500. I could do. All right, Peter. So back to you at uh, 1500, if you're interested, Mike. So we're going over to you for round nine now. I don't know. We've got a couple Marvel pieces in this round oh, from you. We got some doozy Marvel pieces to go here the rest of the night. Matter of fact, all four of them left are doozy Marvel pieces, folks. All right. Well, get let's get ready. you started. Here we go. Oh boy. Check this out. I just did a big deal with a collection uh, last week and just got this in. Great battle page from Marvel, from uh, Miss Marvel, uh, number 12, by Sal Basema, inked by the great Joe Sinat, 1977. Okay, there we go. From the story titled The Warrior and the Witch Queen. The, uh, this great page features Heck Hecate, Hecate, H-E-K-A-T, Hecate, who is one of the Titans who lives on Olympus, Battling Magnum at the top. Great page. And then Miss Marvel at the bottom. She appears in, uh, Miss Marvel appears in four of the five panels. She captures the elementals, Hellfire and Hydron. And that one has been claimed by claimed. Romaine. Thank you, Romaine. That, that is, uh, that's a beauty. I've got a salve you some on Miss Marvel page myself. But here, let's take a look uh, at your 9B. That's what's key. Now, I love this. This is a great. I'm going to say it right. How people like it. Not a homage. 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 
to John Romita Sr.'s Marvel Team Up 11 cover where Black Bolt is in the center. But it's still, and Spider Man and Black Bolt are in the same spot as the Marvel Team Up 11 cover. But we also have on this one, which is sort of cool, um, we also have uh, Storm, Nightcrawler, and Beast in place of the other Inhumans from the original cover. But this is U.S. Avengers number one published cover. Beautiful. And, and I love this. These are all drawn. Spider Man and Black Bolt in the corners are all drawn artwork. Look at that. But this is the U.S. The U.S. Avengers number one published cover from 2016 from the story titled Skullocracy Part One. But just a great page with the Black Bolt Spider Man in the exact same position as Marvel Team Up 11 cover with the X Men Storm, Nightcrawler, and Beast. Great page. They did Razor Cut, like John Romita. But just a great cover by, by Mike Perkins. Yeah, and that's uh, Havoc, by the way. Oh, is that Havoc in the center? I'm sorry. That I made a mistake. That is Havoc and not Black Bolt. Uh, that is Havoc. Sorry about that. Uh, very nice, Mike Perkins. And uh, also, I did want to acknowledge the fact that Peter Rowe did take 7D at $1,500. Saw that one oh, which back Which one there. is that? I'm sorry? Which that was the, uh, the Russ Heath. Oh, the Russ Heath for 15 For 15 Correct. I said fifteen fifty, I believe. No, you said 15 no, you were at fifteen fifty, and then when he offered you fourteen or fourteen fifty, you said fifteen hundred is the lowest I can go. Oh, okay, so you... that's fine. Then fifteen hundred, that's fine. Yep. So fifteen hundred. Yeah, you know what that is, Kevin? How stupid of me! Oh well, everybody makes mistakes. But yeah, but anyway, havoc and uh, uh, you know why? Because Black Bolt was on the original, and I kept thinking Black Bolt in my head. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> what were we going to say, Bill? Uh, there was an offer from Eldon Mock on your 6A Vosburg piece for uh, $1,100. And uh, was it 6A? Or no, it was, uh, gosh, what was it? I'm looking at the wrong wrong stuff here. Uh, da, 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 da. So I've got things. Oh, it's just kind of written wrong. 6A. Let me pull that back up. I'll just go to the slide. This is uh, it's written wrong on my spreadsheet. But uh, that was for the Vosper. You were at fifteen hundred dollars. It was your six A. And again, Eldon's offering you eleven hundred. I'll tell you what. I was gonna say third. Eldon, if we could do twelve fifty, it's yours for twelve fifty. So I'll knock off uh, two fifty. Uh, two fifty on that one. All right. Thank you for the offer, Eldon. And it is first cover for twelve fifty. All right. So uh, 1250 back to Eldon there. So I was making a note here because my description. Yeah, 9A got claimed. That is correct. Yes, 9A and uh, 7B to Peter. Uh, okay, Eldon is taking the 6A. Oh, he's taking it? Okay. Yep. So we said how much on that one? 1250 to 1250 Eldon. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Eldon. So both of these are gone. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, Anthony, round 10 over to you. And you've got a couple of uh, nice pages here on round 10 as well. Oh, you're muted, though, Mr. Uh, Snyder. He I sounds a lot better muted, Bill, let me tell you. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you're still muted, Anthony. Let's just sell it. This is my We can sell it even <laughs> it's Whoosh! Yeah. Hulk splash! All right, let me get the art on the screen. <laughs> Sorry. Hulk splash! Uh, here we go. From the web, Spidey 69, where Hulk and Spidey fight to a point where Spidey gets contaminated and then turns in, sp in, uh, in uh, classic number 70 into the Hulk Spidey mashup. Which we, me and uh, Sharon, love because our kid actually made a Hulk uh, Spidey mashup costume one year for Halloween. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So this is where they fight and and uh, Spidey gets contaminated and Hulk splash. Whoosh. Total splash. He's been, he's been fighting Spidey under under underwater. So now this one, uh, it's important to see this one. You might want to look at both of them. So let's go to the next one already. All so right, one, sure. Uh, this is uh, the battle page where he splashes them under the water. And, and you get 
uh, swoosh, and a lot of Spidey, a lot of Spidey. In Total this action happening yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of Spidey. He puts his foot down and, the and face. Then holds him underwater. Yes. And then <clears throat> this one's actually right after it. And then uh, he comes up and says, Bug man. Well, what does he say? Which where is he? Ah, blah, punny spider. Stop fighting. Hulk doesn't care about bug anymore. So this sploosh and that splash. And there you have some really desirable Alex Saviak web of Spider-Man 69 where the Hulk and Spidey fight. And Spidey gets contaminated and turns into the mashup Spidey. Mashup Spidey and Seven, that classic cover. But uh, it just this is a Hulk sp splash, Hulk splash, oh, splash, splash. It's a double splash, Hulk splash. Whoosh, yep, I put them both together separately. I, I, I don't know what to say, <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful Hulk splash page. Not, not our last one and not our first one, but it, it is gorgeous. Here, I'll show it again. Here, there, there it is. Look at that. Whoosh. Foosh. Poor Spider Man. Yeah, that's a no. Don't, don't do don't. that. Hey, Anthony, you did get an offer from Jeff Moy. On... Jeff is one of my favorite customers. I'll hey, see how hi. this was. That's on the, your three B artwork. The uh, what was it? The all new X Men page. You were at seven fifty, and Jeff is offering you six hundred dollars. All right, I'll do that. Let's get that. Uh, All right. Thank let's you, Jeff. One counted in there, Jeff. Thank and thank you, Jeff, for all the art you do for Hero Initiative. I, I see those auctions. I saw somebody mention that to you earlier, but every week there's always a sketch card or coaster art that uh, Jeff has in those Hero Initiative auctions. And uh, kudos to you for doing that for them. Uh, all right, round 10. Over to you, Mike, and then we get to the recap. Where is your round 10? Here we go. Folks, this is a piece I just got in a collection. It is so awesome. I was going to keep it. This has been in a collection for over 30 years. Best panel page to the book. Hulk 221, Sal Buscema, inked by Alfredo Alcala. Check out the battle with the Hulk battling Stingray. Look at that. First panel, second panel, third panel, fourth panel, fifth panel. Unbelievable. 1977 Hulk battle page. Five panel page. What's that? Are you saying something, Bill? No, Anthony's sneezing, I think. Oh, I heard something. In there. He's okay. But anyway, I just got it in a deal last week. I was going to keep on it. Waboom! <laughs> oh, man. I, I always love that Stingray costume. Stingray through the, through the wall. Good Lord. Not even Namor himself ever hit me like that. Have to roll with the impact. Hulk has had enough. Every time Hulk finds friends, people hurt them. But no more. Do you hear Hulk wingman? No more. From now on, Hulk smashes all enemies. <laughs> we get dramatic wow. readings here on the Dueling Dealers of Holy Comic Card. I love it. But that, that is a great page, a Mike. Doozy. Fresh to the market again. And the last piece, again, I got it from the same collection. A huge piece. This is done, art image. This is 15 by 22 inches. Tom Yates, inked by the great John Toddlebin, if you can believe that. It's Captain America's origin from 1941. Look at that. Captain America battling Nazis with Bucky running, holding the flag as all the, all the action. Again, this is bigger, larger than twice up from Universe X number one from the year 2000. The page two splash. Again, Tom Yates inked by John Toliman from the story just titled Cap. But this is the origin of Captain America. Right here is Cap battles Nazis dodging bullets, deflecting bullets with his shield, and Bucky running, holding the American flag. Are you kidding me? Wow. 15 by 22 inches. And I love the way Tom Yates signed it right there on the bottom left in that little open spot. Oh, yeah, look at that. But again, it's it's penciled, it's inked by it's inked by John Toddlebin. I can't believe that. Yeah, I love Yates, Yates, but the title and zinc on that thing, so. definitely. But again, larger than the large, 15 by 22 inches, so. 
Wow. All right. That Anthony the does. Have- I thought they both would go. Ah. Anthony does have three sales, and he is at fifteen hundred dollars. By the way, but uh, all right, we know what time it is. It's time for the Ragnarok. Oh, look, uh, Matt Tullius. I like big art, and I cannot lie. Absolutely. Thank you for that super chat, Matt. Let's see here. Where was that? Uh, I loaded a special one just for tonight. Here we go. I love that one. That was that, that was funny. one of the first times I really Bill tried Stookie. to do. I was trying to do those uh, it's video editing. I, uh, that was my first attempt. It came out. I always enjoyed that one. So, uh, all right. Well, it's time for the recap, everybody. Oh, and, and Ray mentions that Yates and Taliban were both students at the Kubert School. That's cool. I didn't really? know that. I never knew that. That's nice. Wow. Bill as Godzuki. Right. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, boy. I call all right. Bill well, Dookie. We're going to the recap, everybody. Folks, while well, Anthony's going, I'll be in the I'll be in the chats, folks. If anybody wants to do some dealing in the chats. <laughs> All right. Well, Anthony, we got some work to do here, but we got we got time. We made we've done we've done pretty well tonight after that mishap to get things started today. So I don't think those glasses are gonna help. You won't be able to read the chat. No. No, not going to work, Anthony. All right, let's change that thing from saying round 10 to recap, and then we can get this thing rocking and rolling here. And, uh, Anthony, we're going to go all the way back to the top to your 1A artwork. Hey, you so, want to start backwards tonight? Yeah, no. 10, no. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No. It, no, we want to we, we, oh, we, we we stick with tradition here, <laughs> my friend. Uh, all right, so back to 1A. It doesn't say recap yet, but everybody knows it's not round 10 anymore. It is the recap. So let's get that Amanda Connor piece back up yeah, here to start. Yeah, we got Amanda Connor, and we got, we got uh, the Dave Gibbons. If, if this is true, it was a 32-second sketch. Uh, what did I have them both at four? Uh, you yeah, had them both four. at four. How about uh, I'll do 350 on either one, 350, 350. You know what? I'll do 320 on this one because it took 32 seconds. And then uh, I'll do uh, uh, right. Oh, yeah. That's so fun. Look at the Sharon. That's Look at the him, best. Sharon. I mean, she's so happy and like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. Like when you walk in your front door of your house. Like, All right. Three, so 300 on either one of those. 300. What? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let me show yeah. the other one, uh, at least as far as uh, the bigger slide here. Where was that? Oh, okay. I didn't get to do it because you only had 30 seconds there. So you're going to be at 300 oh. for the Gibbons oh. or the Amanda Connor piece. Yes. Woo. And Matt and wanted to know how much those uh, melted glasses. Oh, man. I like these. I like these. These are one of a kind special artwork. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Jason. The uh, the Gibbons is on a backing board. Yeah, kind of looks uh, like it's on the flat side of the backing board, not the glossy side. Hard, but hard to say. They usually were. I mean, uh, you know, I think I've seen most of these on backing boards. Oh uh, man, they're worth more than a hundred bucks to me. So one hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty for the baked glasses, or they go back on the uh, like the back w- trophy wall. I wanted to make a portrait of herself, show. like she did ahead of me. Uh, with the baked glasses. So three three on this. And, well, he put 32 seconds on it. Like, maybe that's how long it took he him. He probably to timed it. himself to to draw that yeah. piece, Mark. But, so three hun, three hun on those two. All right. So, uh, nope. There, around two so pieces are, are sold. Gone. Whoever just pulled that one up. So, uh, all right. So $300 on 1A and 1B. Let's go take a look at 3A, which is on the screen right now. And uh, remember, all the claimers will be putting a drawing for a five hundred dollar piece on Monday. Oh, yep. And I'll have two drawings on Monday. All right. So we got the Garcia Lopez with the Starro. Sharon loves Starro. I she love Starro. I worked. 
hours on a cake, a Starro cake, if anybody remembers that one. That was pretty cool, too. Yeah, that was one of the best cakes she ever made. She made little Starros. She made hundreds of those that the birds, the birds end up eating those. All right, so uh, I'll do... Uh, it became a trading card. Yeah, it was made in the trading yeah, card. Yeah, that's right. All right, so uh, did I ever say anything about you, the price? You, you have not set a price yet, Anthony. All right, let's do uh, six and a quarter on this one. Six and a quarter. On and, the star oh, Aven Evangeline. Uh, six and I a mean, quarter on the yeah, star This sold, actually. Oh, it did? This one. Cool. Look All out. right, so 625, 625 on Anthony's 3A Garcia Lopez JLA classified page with star on it. So uh, there you go. And that was your 3A. So 3B did sell. And next up is your 4A artwork. All right. Well, we have a Batman color piece. Uh, it's really strong. I like it a lot. I like his legs running at you. He's going to get you. So this is uh, Ernie Chan. Um, let's do 800 a piece on these. We could do 800 on the chance. Batman. All right. So, well, right. Well, you can get another 30 seconds and we'll show the, the other piece, the uh, three, the four B. And there's that one with the Riddler on it. The recreation, I believe. Uh, yep. So this one's, this one's 800 as well. Uh, I'll throw Yasmin. I'll throw back thirty five on that the Hulk Spidey page. Yeah, I was just going to mention 35. that for you. So you're Anybody changing your ten B. Okay, ten B over to, uh, back to Yasmin at uh, thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's it's just uh, you know it's kind of that's that whole sequence as. Yeah, I can't do. I can't go that low, Sean. I, I'm into these for about. Uh, I'll split it with you. I'll do. I'll do. Yeah, I you're, at, say, you're at sixteen for the pair right now. Yeah. Uh, can we do fourteen? Yeah, I'll do fourteen, Sean. That's as that's as low as I can go. All right, Sean. Thank you for that offer on the four A and four B Ernie Chan's. Uh, the but I appreciate uh, the counters. action, action, yes. action. We want action. The counter back really to nice. uh, Sean. Yep. Is that fourteen? And uh, Sean okay, says, thank go you, to Sean. Appreciate it. Yay. Thank That's you very much, Sean. Awesome. Thank you. Very we, have, much. we appreciate getting claims from Facebook. We don't, we don't get enough over there, but uh, the parties usually happen in over on YouTube, but no, thank you, Sean. We appreciate it immensely. Um, all right, let's move on to five a, what do we got for five a again? Oh, that's the uh, Thunderbolt. 35 on that great Hulk uh, Spidey battle page. 35. This is the 1920s. Okay, so Martini for the Girl. Oh, uh, Black Widow. Art Deco. Beautiful awesome Black Widow. pencils. I like this because, you know, I like it when a guy just shows off his chops in pencil form. I mean, this is a true, true, true uh, valuable art of, of penciledom. So, uh, Thunderbolts cover. Uh, I like it. Uh, I think that should be a new saying penciledom. Penciledom. Okay. Uh, published variant cover. I can do like twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. So you're dropping five A to twelve fifty. Right. Uh, t Tim Wenhold, the four B was uh, claimed by Sean Clancy. He picked up four A and four B. So uh, so five A Anthony is twelve fifty. Yeah, twelve fifty. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate you being out there, but uh, I just did a deal on him. Uh, on the pair of Ernie Chans. All right, so twelve fifty is the price on Anthony's five A uh, Thunderbolts cover. Next up is the five B artwork by David Finch of Emma Frost. All you right, were, you were at fifteen hundred dollars on this one. Uh, okay, I'll cut this down to thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. This is a very desirable piece. Very, 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 very. Look at that. Oh. I feel like it's Barbie-esque. Barbie Sharon. Oh. Uh, and isn't there a Barbie movie coming out? I don't know. 5A. That's, oh, 5A? That was the Thunderbolts. 
Uh, I can do 1,200, Robert. 1,200. All right, so a couple, three, Robert. So 1,200 on your 5A, 1,350 on your 5B that's on the screen right now. And Yasmin uh, said uh, uh, that, that they can do 3,500 with two, two payments in a month. And uh, that was on your 10B. Okay, let's get that done. Thank you very much, Yasmin. Let's get all that right, done. Hmm? No, I said, all right, that's great. Thank you very much. Yep. All right, and uh, remember, I do use PayPal. So I can send you invoices that have down payments, and then you can just pay as you go. And I like to get them wrapped up within a couple, three months. So uh, that's that. Yay. Uh, 1A is available. Did somebody? Yes, 1A is available at $300, Mr. Murdoch. And uh, Comic Art Boston 10B did just get sold uh, for $3,500. Thank you for that offer as well. So, uh, so yes, Murdoch, if you're interested. What did Comic Art want? 10B that we yeah. just sold. So, uh, all right. So, well, Murdoch. You know, is... other stuff. You know, I like to do business with you, Comic Art hey, Boston. Claim 1A. Yep, yeah, Murdoch is it. taking oh, 1A. You should, do you want Sharon to sign that? No. Come on, yeah. give a wink. Thank you, Murdoch. <laughs> All right. So, uh, again, the uh, piece on the screen right now is at 1350. That's his 5B. We're going to go take a look at 6. All right. Amanda eight. Connor was at 300, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So, I got this Matt Murdoch. Uh, let's go uh, 275 on them. 275. You're saying you're dropping your your one B to 275, the Rorschach yep. piece. And Dave then uh, the JLI classified, uh, I'll do 600 on. Okay. What do you want to do on the piece that's on the screen? We don't have a timer yet. I'm not sure All why, right. but uh, Rob Leefield. Who's the Rob Leefield fans out there? Look at that full figure and drawn very well. Uh, is this from the first series? Uh, I'm not sure. Gosh. All right, so let's do twelve fifty on this one. Twelve fifty. Are you there, Bill? I'm. I'm here. I'm here. I'm the, the, I was giving you some time because. Okay, twelve fifty on the young blood. All right, so twelve fifty on your six A Rob Liefeld young blood pencil art splash. All right, who else? We want action, action, action. We want action. Where are your pom poms, Sharon? I need them. Okay, Woo! so. If if you want if you want the I lost my glasses in the oven while I was baking a cake for you, hundred and fifty dollars, and that goes to cake pans. And uh, Comic Art Boston has taken your three A at the six hundred dollar price point. Okay, Thank great. you, Comic Art Boston. All right, we have that one for you. Uh, and I have your book that is waiting for you to let us know. And Dave Kopecki said that uh, that Liefeld came from the the, uh, the 2000 series because the first series uh, were all eight. Reason? Okay, I get Frank, it. Frank, the uh, yeah. stuntman. Just I'll answer Frank's question. The stuntman did sell. Uh, so all right. So moving right along. So we didn't uh, talk about the Epting piece, and the bell has already rung. But uh, what are you okay. thinking about price wise on this one, Anthony? All right, I'll do twelve fifty on this one. Robert, if you like the uh, Thunderbolts cover, I'll do eleven hundred. I'll do twelve hundred on this one. Twelve hundred on the Steve Epstein Captain America. Very moody with all the characters you would want: Cap, Sharon, Black Widow, Nick Fury, Crossbones, stalking Captain America. Well, Alberto, he actually just dropped yeah. Alberto, yeah, he's, okay, you yeah. got it. He actually dropped it to twelve hundred, so you got yep. it. Thank you so much, Alberto. Thank All right, you, thank you, Alberto. Great, I'm glad you got something, Alberto. I, I saw you out there sweating. Oh, come on! And Jason's Jason. offering you two hundred. You were at two seventy five on that Rorschach. Two thirty seven fifty. <laughs> Trying to split the difference. Two thirty seven. We don't go. We we don't do change on this thing. So we'll say two thirty seven, huh, Anthony? Nineteen ninety nine. I'll do two. I'll do two hundred if you come over and watch a Miami Dolphin game, so I get to see you suffer. <laughs> Evil laugh. Okay, there you go, Jason. Two hundred dollars, and you have to watch the Dolphins at. <laughs> 
<laughs> at Anthony's at, at house. At the Snyder Mansion. At the Snyder Mansion. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for picking up uh, this one here. Well, Albert. I mean, we one, of the best, one of the best birthday presents I got was seeing the Giants uh, actually wrap up a, a uh, playoff spot. That was great because Sunday was my birthday. <clears throat> Uh, well, I'll see. And, and Jason says he'll do it. So I guess that's a sale. One B has sold for two hundred dollars to okay. Jason Ambrosio. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I look forward to the game. Yes. All right. Now we're moving on to the. This is your. She'll make Bill cakes Ward. and a blanket, and we'll have some tuna fish sushi. <laughs> dolphin. I thought you said we were no. going to make some dolphin. Some ahi ahi. <laughs> no, we don't eat dolphin. Come on. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Well, tell me about this Bill Ward piece. You have a price to two thousand dollars. All right, but we're action, action. We want action. That's what he wants I to take want his wallet action. out for a walk, if I recall correctly. Beautiful wow. white Conte crayon on this thing. It's okay. gorgeous. And the caption is: "It's such a beautiful day. I just dropped by to see if I could take your wallet for a walk." Laugh Digest, sixties, uh, seventies. Look at that. Now, these so, Anthony, very- you got five seconds. What's your best price on this one? Seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. These are beautiful. I love these. These are these are. Uh, I buy these whenever I can. I like looking at them. This is the uh, the pinnacle of humorama art, and you know Martin Goodman, uh, you know left the hero stuff and published humorama, split off from Stan Lee. And, you know, he did the Humorama stuff, adult stuff, and Stan did the hero stuff. Or Very probably true. what Martin Goodman thought was the kid stuff. All right. Now, this one. Oh, look at her. Wow. All right. So these are charcoal on Conti paper. Uh, whiteout or paint is used as the, as the highlights. And this one, the caption is, I know I have everything a man can ask for, but it isn't for the asking. Do you understand that? I get it. I get it. Do you? What is your price? Seventeen fifty on this one too. Seventeen fifty. Uh, I. I know I have everything. A man can a ask. A man can ask for, but it's not for the asking. But it's not he, for the he asking. Can't even ask for it. Her. He, her, sometimes he? you know, ladies. Who can be wants confusing. to spend three grand on all this art? These huge, huge Bill Ward Conti pieces. You get the blonde, the brunette, and you can just be satisfied for the rest of your uh, Bill Ward collecting life. <laughs> like Linda's comment, looks like the Monopoly man has decisions to make. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Which one? Uh, all right, Which so you could do uh, this one, this one. <laughs> you could do three thousand for the pair. Anybody, oh, if you're interested, yeah. they both have the Monopoly Man. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you know all what right, his actual so. name is? The, the Monopoly Man. Monopoly. No, Mike, tell yeah, us. Yeah, he has an actual name. What is it? Well, I'm confirming it, but I believe it was called Mister. Oh no, R- Uncle Pennybags. <laughs> Uncle Pennybanks. All right. Okie dokie. Yeah, well, so on to anybody the next interested part. in uh, in that young blood? At like, uh, I'm gonna take these down a bit. Uh, Thunderbolts, eleven hundred. That's okay. where you were at. Was eleven hundred? Yep. No, I, I said twelve last. You did drop. No, you dropped it to eleven. Oh yeah, I did. I did say that to Frank. I thought we were going right. to be able to, be able to do one of those uh, football commercials where we drop the you know the red flag and go back and rewatch it, but we don't have yeah, to because sure. you agreed with me. And All then right. the white queen, I can do twelve fifty, but that's a very desirable piece. That'll sell fast off the website. Uh, Young blood, yeah, gosh, that's kind of what I paid. All right, so fifteen, fifteen uh, separately or together, I'll do it on the Bill Wards and then the Marcos. I, I'm tight on these. I could do 1800 on the Marcos published pinup. Published pinup. Yep. Okay. 1800 on the artwork on the screen by Pablo Marcos. Wow. So that big serpent. It's huge. And it's a back cover from 1995. 
This is incredible. We don't have to start the clock over. Major detail. But it is gorgeous. 18. Uh, what do you got? Uh, so Tim is claiming the, Tim, Tim's claiming the 7A Bill Ward. Okay, at, great, Tim. Thank you very much. A very good gag on that one, Tim. Which Congrats. one? The That's the first the one. Brunette? The brunette on the desk. Oh, I know. But Tim prefers brunettes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice pickup, Tim. Is that creepy enough? Sorry. Yes, that was creepy enough. <laughs> very creepy. Oh, this one. But we don't have to sit next to you, Anthony. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I she, saw that she committed to for life. Yes, she did. Committed. Thank you. Oh, come on. Tim understands. Tim gets hey, it. I love inside Lord. joke that I, you know, Tim, you know, Tim and I are a little almost friends. All right. So hey, you let I, me I, stay I, at his house once. I guess you have to be friends. All right. All right Tim, so he, if you like this one, how about 14 on this one? All right. So you're lowering uh, your 7 to 1400 the uh, piece on the screen is eighteen hundred dollars, so uh, that's Pablo Marcus. So what do we got next? Or Marcus, Marcos. So we got eight B. That's the next one. The John Byrne Elswin page. Elswin number thirty-one. Yay, John Byrne Elswin. Uh, I was kind of saving this one for myself out of all the ones I got, but I pulled it out of uh, portfolios that uh, you know, like uh, my standby portfolios willing to part with it not huh? on the website and i have to become willing to part with it yeah oh willing my gosh it's got the thing your yeah. your are you listening alter ego my avatar what, yeah what's your best price on this one Anthony? and and it's got Dr. Uh, versus, uh uh how what's about your best price 22 22 all right ladies and gentlemen 2200 dollars gets this Anthony Snyder, 8B. Whoa, John Byrne, else went paid. $2,200, 8B. Three more pieces to look sequential. at. The yeah. It's like, boom, boom, boom. Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, really it's kind cool. of a montage panel splash. So cool. And then he fight, and then Dr. Doom blasts him. So 22, 21, 21 for fun. Let's All right, 20, 21 for fun. fun. Get it done. Next up is your nine. There needs some new cake artwork. This was the uh, three-page story by Dan DiCarlo, Archie, yeah. girls, Betty, and Veronica. Yeah, and I, I, didn't, I didn't think that uh, I, I'd find an audience here, but I wanted to date bottom here because this is some really, really great Dan DiCarlo art that uh, I'm debutting here. The stamp collecting uh, story is uh, is a premium. Uh, just because it's it's of a collecting nature, and then the Christmas uh, is of a premium because it's Christmas. So uh, I could do three and forty-five on these. Three and forty-five. So three on the stamp. Yeah, that's a thousand dollars a page. That means you're basically getting the splash at like half off. Yeah, forty-five. Uh, you know. Maybe uh, Archie, Archie people aren't out there right now, but uh, you know these will find their, uh, their find their uh, new homes. homes. Yeah, they'll They're find their walls. homes. Again, well, everybody loves Dan DiCarlo, so yeah, you're at three thousand. And I got another Miami. one that I'll be posting. Oh, yeah, it's even better than these two. So okay, oh. so where are we at? Uh, well, the 9B, which we're going to show now, you have priced that one at $4,500. And uh, thank you for the uh, kind words there, Kid Venicus. We have we do we have lots of fun interviews on the channel, and we do lots of fun sales shows just like this one. Thank so, you. So, uh, you were $4,500 on the six page story from yeah. Archie Giant Series Magazine 144. Yeah, this great, great uh, Archie uh, Christmas story. Uh, yeah, that's that's a great page. Forget it. All you lovely people, I got my Christmas gift. Tis the season to be jolly. Follow along. I thought you were going to sing it for us, Anthony. You want, yeah. you want me to be uh, uh, well, Reggie? that last word bubble. I, this, oh, I was waiting for it. Come on, man. Sing do you it. want me and Sharon to do a reenactment of this one? No. Well, you mean the whole thing? Well, you just we'll, we'll stream it on the calf update. Oh, la, la, la. 
All right, so forty five hundred. This reason to be jolly. Christmas story, Chinese restaurant singing. Fantastic. All right, so I just want to confirm. Buck on New Year's. Forty five hundred on this one, right? Yeah. All right. Good one. Now we got one more to look at. The one on the screen. The true Hulk splash page. If there ever was one. A gasp that was just. Oscar worthy. All right, so this one we got done at 35. And look at that. We got a nice big Hulk splash. You got some Spider Man sinking to the bottom. And you got a gas. Let Spider Man live, not for my sake, but for your own. And Spider Man's getting uh, thrown underwater. What's your best price, Anthony? Oh. Twenty-five hundred. Woo, woo. All right, you Bad. heard it. Twenty-five hundred dollars for this big Hulk page. Maybe you're more of a Hulk person for this page than you are Spider-Man. But this is the issue where Hulk contaminates Spider, Spider-Man, and then he gets all spidery and Hulky at the same time for the mashup. All right, cool. twenty-five hundred dollars on your ten A artwork. And Anthony has taken a, a lead here as we round the corner and go over toward the Ramita Mansion for his recap. Do they have that right? Because I have, I have, I thought I had six sales. I have six. We also have an offer from Alberto. So I've got uh, five sales for you, Mike. I have six. I've got your uh, the Ed Cotts uh, Wonder Woman. Yes. The, the Star Wars Hidden Empire Secure, cover. Portrait. Yes. The Vosberg piece. Yes. And you're right. I do have six. Uh, the South Assembly, the Russ Heath, and the Simon. Hang on. Hang on. Russ Heath, uh, your 7B, the Joe Simon, 8A, and the 9A from Salby Sema to Romaine. So, so six, I don't know what. Right? There's six. And it says oh, six. Okay. Is the amounts correct? I didn't, I don't know. Uh, I can't do it all in my head right now. Do I have to? I just uh, like to know. No, I know. I know. It's a. Uh, I mean, I, no one, no one's texting me in the production studio. Let me know if the math is accurate on yours, but uh, I can try to do it. Okay, Emma has said the math is correct, so you're at eighty-one oh, okay. twenty-five. All right. Thanks, Emma. And uh, I can concur. I did it. I just did it up here. So, yep, there we are. All right, let's get Mike started on his recap, everybody. And uh, Alberto did throw um, yeah. a, a one other offer to you, Mike. I, I know that you were back and forth, and I wasn't able to pay attention. Yeah, to yeah. Um, thirty-seven is my lowest on the cap, so okay. We so can do thirty-seven. The... It, it's his. Okay. One liked one hundred sixty-five. Everybody, somebody out there can do that. There's one hundred sixty-seven of you still watching the show. You can hit that thumbs up and get us to 165. Can't All right, Mike. Emma's still here. Okay. Uh, Emma's still in the building. All right. Going all the way back to Mike's 1A artwork. Want to buy this one for your daughter? Okay. Here we go. I'll go uh, 250 on this one. I think it's a really beautifully detailed Matt Martin 11 by 17 pinup, just gorgeous with that McFarlane ish Spidey. Very, very cool piece. Uh, $250 on that. Beautiful, beautiful. He draws a book called Snowman, which is fairly popular, and he's the artist for that. So he's a published artist in the, in the hobby, but just a beautiful, beautiful. Let me even get in closer. Beautiful McFarlane Spidey. Really nice. Is that logo a stat? A logo at the bottom is a stat. Okay. I forgot the uh, that when you said it earlier. Blah, 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 blah. I'll go 225 before the end. So 225. All right. And uh, Matt, somebody asked about it if it was still available, but they didn't make any kind of an offer or, or whatnot on it. So 225, yeah, it's still available, Mike. Matt. 225. All right, so 225. Next up, uh, your 1B and 2A did sell. So 2B is the next piece of artwork. Not not this well, one. 2B. Two 2B. Two or not 2B. Two two next one. <laughs> two B. Those all sold. I, Yay. Yes, they did. 
There it is. Very, very cool. Jose Dalbo, 1980s pinup. I love the Superman and Batman and the Riddler. I'll do uh, 600 bucks on that. Very, very cool piece. Why do you think the Riddler is holding a, a bunny? I have no idea. And there's roses. There's roses in a radio next to him. Well, it's called, it is called the DC Superpowers Fun Book, so I guess he's having fun. I mean, the robot's got roller skates. There's a there's some rope. There, there's a story in there somewhere. Um, and yeah. uh, one of those activity books where you had to find the different stuff. For, it's yeah, for probably. Little, you know. Yeah. Uh, Matt you is know offering. You I'm gonna make Matt the Tilio's day. I'll take the 200 for that. That's fine. All right, Matt, okay. you get that for 200, buddy. Thank you, Matt. Because it's a doozy. Indeed. And uh, just for you, man. Matt. Uh oh, whoop, whoop. look out! Look out, Matt. There's no children in the room. Boom. Sold. <laughs> Sold is my favorite four-letter word. Awesome. Oh, happy days. All right. So six hundred dollars <laughs> on, on your two B artwork, Rabbit. Yeah, Bill. I'll tell you what, Bill. I'll go five seventy-five. You know what? I'm going to do five fifty before the end of the show on that. Five fifty is my lowest. All right, five fifty on Mike's two B artwork. So what do we got? The next? only one that hasn't sold yet. <laughs> the first <laughs> that is three before it sold. That is true. Uh, all right, three A is your next artwork. That was the Gonzalo Mayo oh, Electra. Yeah. I love that. You got a beautiful painting on one side. You're welcome, Matthew. And a beautiful vampire on the other side. That's really, really neat. I have 800 on it. I'll do 700 on it. I mean, I like the Vampirilla side even more than the painted uh, Electra, but you get them both. Put it in a clear mile. That way you get to see both the front and back. So 700 for that one. Pretty cool. Wrong image, people, but anyway. Wrong image. Which one? There you go. They flipped to the next one after that. Oh, I didn't see that. But anyway, what I say on that, Bill? You said 700, Mike. Uh, tell you what, I'll go 650 before the end. You get them both, folks. 650. All right. 650 on Mike's 3A Gonzalo Mayo pair of artwork. Yeah, I actually like page. the Vampy. The Vampy's a lot older. I think that's from the 80s. So. Is that ink or pencil, by the way, on the vampy? Oh, uh, no, it's know. inked. It it's looked inked. inked. Yep, it's inked. All right. Rally Jamie, the cut, is it Jamie cut it up to do this. I can't believe he couldn't find more board. Just a shame to cut up such a beautiful piece of art to draw that. But so, anyway, All what right. I say on that, Bill? 650, Mike. 650 on that. Okay. All right. So, next piece is that John McCray. Yeah, what the heck? Bill, six and a quarter before the end. Six and a okay. quarter. 625 on your 3A. I'll now we've got the John McRae Red Sonia Samurai Sonia cover by beautiful. Dynamite. I have 950 on it. I will do 850 on it. You get the beautiful uh, pencil prelim. You see it's a, an homage to one of the boys' covers, the very famous TV show, and you get the finished cover. Published, and it's published. You get them both, 850. And there's the prelim. The prelim and the finished piece. The whole thing. Everything is drawn art, folks. And it's a first issue. Beautiful piece. Samurai Sonya number one. The cover and the detailed cover prelim. All right. 850 was the price? Bill? 850. Uh, 850. Uh, you know what? I'll do eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. All right. 825 on Mike's 3B. Next up is that awesome Ralph Reese. Man, that Meaning. piece is so, so freaking awesome. Humongous, humongous piece. This is done on, again, this is done on 14. The yard image itself is 14 by 22 inches. I have 1,200 on it. Ah, oh, this is going to kill me to say it. I'll do 1,000. And it's signed by Ralph Reese there in the bottom left. This is done in homage to Wally Wood and Al Feldstein EC covers. But what a beautiful piece. Mixed media with airbrush and paints. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Huge piece, just gorgeous. Thousand is bucks. that on paper or canvas? No, it's just on artboard. Seems... It's on an artboard? Okay, it's on, just... Yeah, it's done on all yeah. artboard. Okay. All right, $1,000, Mike? 
Um, what I say on that? I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what. For tonight only, I'll do nine fifty. Nine fifty. All right, nine fifty on Mike's four A. Next yeah, up, well, that guy ripped in half there. Oh my goodness gracious me! Oh, with that futuristic <laughs> ship, no bleeding. Oh, a kind of guy's bleeding purple. No not bleeding red. There. That's, That's an alien. He, oh, yeah, a yeah, cyborg. Yeah. Yes, there you go. It's a cyborg. Yeah, from aliens. A synthetic. Nine nine fifty, folks. Nine fifty. All right. Next up. Next up. Ah, uh, not Chewbacca, everybody. Yeah, what's his name? I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, so you don't know it either, Bill? Thank you. That was my point. I just knew he's he's angry and he's got these white eyebrows. I mean, yeah. That's oh, yeah, I'm... that's right. Chewbacca never got angry. <laughs> Chewbacca. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, he never battled or nothing. He was always just so soft and go. cuddly. Yeah. What was he? A Wookie for crying out loud? Yeah, it's yeah. Uncle Wookie. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful piece. I will do a thousand on that, and you get uh, the other. Uh, the, the, they did like a pencil prelim of Boba Fett that comes with it. Beautiful washout piece. Now I'm, I don't know if this is a portfolio piece or whatnot. It might be published. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm selling it as unpublished. If it's published, it's certainly worth a heck of a lot more than a thousand, folks. So one thousand dollars, Mike. Piece. What I say in that bill? One thousand dollars, Mike. Uh, just for tonight's audience, I will do nine fifty. 950. Yeah. 950, everybody, on Mike's 4B artwork. For now Boba we've got Fett this. And what, what's he called? Chewbacca or whatever you called him? Oh, yeah, called yeah. Him? Chris, no. Chewbacca. <laughs> Scott Bakula. Next. Chewbacula. <laughs> Chewbacca, as Marcus said. Um, all right. Next up, 5 oh, Black Chris Santon is his name. Oh, my Lord. That's a mouthful. Black oh. chrysanthemum. Okay, black chrysanthemum there with Boba Fett. All right. Next up, this That's wonderful silver surfer. 950, folks, right 11, there. 11 team by 17, Nick Brad, Bradshaw piece. Wow. Nick Bradshaw, beautiful pinup. Man, look at the detail. There's tons of white paint on that and, and uh, scratching. Uh, I will lower this to 1,000 for tonight. Only. What a piece. 1,000 bucks on that. Done on 17 by 11 inch airport by the great Nick. Oops, I gotta go back. By the great Nick Bradshaw. Wow. Kirby Crackle in there too. So one thousand dollars, Mike. Uh, one. Uh, uh, for our esteemed audience, I'll do nine fifty. Okie dokie, nine fifty on your five A artwork. Wow. By Mr. Bradshaw. All right. Nine fifty. Next up is this J.K. Snyder Duke Nukem Duke glorious Nukem bathroom painted cover. cover. Woo. Published cover to issue number one. Um, I will do uh, eleven fifty on it. Matter of fact, you know what, Bill? I'll do eleven hundred. What the heck? Duke Nukem glorious bastard number one cover painting. Eleven fifty done mixed media painting uh, on eleven by fifteen and a half inch thick board, rigid board. As he blows away this crazy hog wire. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That looks yeah. like first a... issue. Balls of steel. All right. Wow. Uh, so what did I say, Matt Bill? You said 1100, Mike. 1100. Ah. I'll do a thousand bucks tonight only. A thousand bucks. All right. One thousand. AK Snyder, first issue, folks. Come and get it. Balls of Steel with two sexy babes. Wow. Next up, uh, uh, what do we got? 6B. It's the Carl Potts Marvel Fanfare page. Carl Potts 18. and Terry Shoemaker. Uh, I didn't want to go that much lower. It's so hard to find Black Spider-Man from the 1980s. It's crazy. Um, I will do 1650. Really, really nice. And Peter Parker also at the bottom. Because he grabbed his check. He goes, oh, my God, I got to get to the bank. Then they won't let him in the bank. Then they finally let him in the bank so he could cash his check. But uh, really, really cool. It's hard to find black Spider-Man 1980s art. And here it is. Well, probably your only chance to get a 1980s black Spider-Man for under two grand. What was my price on that, Bill? You said 1600 1600 I'll do 1550 for tonight. 
1988 published Black Spider-Man art, folks. Wow. Uh, okay, fifteen fifteen. Next up, seven A. That was the Alex Saviak web of Spider-Man semi splash. Wow. Yeah, you see what those went for? I saw those on eBay. Did they go for like eight thousand a piece? Uh I know I know the um, one you're talking about. I don't remember what they went yeah, for. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Get, Spidey in the all bottom three panels. Check it out there. Half splash. I have eighteen hundred. I'll do sixteen fifty. Wow. Very very cool. From nineteen ninety thirty year old Spider Man page. Sixteen fifty. Wow. Spider-Man and Lizard and Warrant all battling with a half splash. Holy Toledo. 1650, folks. Okay, 1650 on Mike's 7A Web of Spider-Man semi-splash. Yeah, I think they uh, went for a little over over 16, I think, for the pair, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I know one was I over eight. I remember that. Uh, so 7B and 8A are sold. Next up is 8B, the Fastener and Larson portfolio piece. Uh, I have 2400 on it. Uh, beautiful published portfolio. Uh, you know what? What the heck? I'll come down. I will go 2000 on it. 2000 on it. Who are you texting? We can see you texting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have a house. I bought a new house. I have I have an inspection tomorrow. So I've been texting with the guy. I'm moving. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Imagine the artwork you're gonna uncover when you when you do that move. So uh, Oh no, I already did it. <laughs> so two thousand dollars on this one, Mike? Uh yes. And what was the size on this one? I forget. Oh, um uh oh, I gotta scroll down. It's bigger than normal sized art. It is 12 by 17.8 inches. Okay. All right. So $2,000 on that one. Uh, next up, we'll see your 9A sold. So we're going to take a look at 9B. That was the Mike Perkins, Spidey, and Havoc on the cover. Wow. Yeah, the Havoc. <laughs> um, I, had, uh, three, uh, uh, I will do uh, uh, 2900 on it. And again, all the that the corner boxes, both the corner box guys, they're all hand drawn, hand drawn, published first issue cover, U.S. Avengers number one, unbelievable, great cover, with uh, the, uh, an homage to Marvel, John Romita's seniors, Marvel Team Up Eleven, with uh, with Havoc blowing up Spider Man and Storm and Nightcrawler and the Beast. Are you kidding me? Dang, he's having a bad day. Wow. Uh, no, J Jason, Berkey is downsizing. Aren't you, Mike? You're, you're downsizing. Uh, their so. house is a little smaller than mine, actually. Yeah, but it's a lot, it's 30 years newer. So, All right. So uh, $2,900 on this one? $2,900. Okie dokie. $2,900 on Mike's 9B. We got two more pieces of art to look at. Next up is the 10A uh, Salby Sema Incredible Hulk page with the Stingray on it. Oh, man. Uh, I will go 3600 on this. I love this one. I know a bunch of guys. Will, again, I like because it it's inked by Alfredo Alcala, which is a huge, huge deal. In the prime era of 1977, uh, Hulkster battling from the story titled Show Me the Way to Go Home. One of the best battle pages in the book was Spider-Man battling the evil Stingray. Really, just got it in a collection. Guys owned it for 30, 40 years. Waboom! Patang. All right, so 36, 3600 on this one? Uh, 3600 on that. Uh, you know what? Wait. Uh, tonight only I'll do 3500 so that's that one. Okie dokie, so 3500 on your 10A Incredible Hulk page. Wow. One more to go. That's the Yates and Tottleben uh, Universe X Cap Splash page from uh, 2000. You've got four thousand on it but you actually have dropped it already to thirty seven hundred dollars thirty seven hundred i will go thirty six hundred on it again folks this is 15 by 22 inches and it's caps origin from the from the world war one it's his origin book from uh universe x tommy eight's ink by john toddleben 
Uh, Wolvie fan, okay, 3600 Yeah, and there we go. Thank you, Wolvie fan. $3,600 on the 10B artwork. That is a beauty. Uh, so let's see. We're going to get the scores updated here. So I think you were... If any more offers. Thanks, Wolvie fan. Let me uh, swing things around here. Last offers, folks. We're here. So I think that 3600 would put you at 11925 There we go. So, well, Mike looks like he froze up again. He All needs right, better I'll, internet. I'll try to sell some stuff. How about, I got this Hulk page. Ha <laughs> 2100 To take the lead. You froze up. And it. And uh, let's see, there was an offer. 8B, what was 8B, Bill? Uh, well, Mike, let's see. 3B was the John McRae, and uh, 8B was the Fastener and Larson. So you were at uh, $2,825 for the pair, and Wayne is offering you $2,500. I was at, how much was I on the pair? Two thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. You were at two thousand on the Fastener and Larson, and eight twenty-five on the McRae. Hey Wayne, if we could do twenty-six hundred, you get them both. Let me pull. Okay, them so uh, Wayne, back to you on those two. If you want uh, want them at twenty-six hundred, they are yours. And uh, Anthony did say that he lowered the ten A artwork to twenty-one hundred. The half splash of the Hulk. Everybody's texting around here but me. Yeah, I mean, people are interested. I'm trying to nail something down and tell them to bring it in the chat. So, All right, well, that one's back to Wayne if he's still interested. And uh, oh, Wayne gets this one. Wait, and the, uh, well, if he's if he takes it. He hasn't, yeah, he hasn't taken it. The... Wayne, you like whole Wayne, is, Wayne is passing on the $2,600 counter offer. What about the Archies? Uh, okay, then... Wayne, you got me. I'll do it for both. What the heck? All right, but there is an offer over to so you're so you're taking them at twenty five hundred, Mike. Uh, you're yeah, Canadian. I looked at it. Wait, McCray, that was the uh, red Sonny. Oh, that the was the red Sonny. red Sonny in the portfolio. That's fine. I'll do it. All right, let me let me write that down, and then uh, so so Wayne is getting three B and eight B. In my mind, I kept thinking of the Vosberg piece, so that's fine. All right, so Wayne's gotten those two now. Uh, Anthony, Mark has made an offer to you uh let's see for your 10a which was of course the um okay the, I can what, do yeah the hulk splash on the hulk splash 21 yeah, right. you were at 21 on that and then you were also at 1400 on the any other offers folks on the bill ward piece the on remaining bill, bill ward piece ward, this so one? you were th you were at 3500 mark is offering you 3100 yeah wow i i gotta get uh 1250 on this on the on the ward. So, so you're countering only that's a steal. So you're countering it 350. So you're countering at 3350. Right? Yeah. And then Any Paul is offers, offering folks? another offer for Anthony is on his 5B $1000 for the Finch. Okay, I'll do that. All right. So that's Anthony's 5B selling for $1000 to Paul Brisgawi. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thirty-three fifty, Mark. Mark has come back at thirty-two fifty. Hmm. For the, the house I'm selling, I'm asking a mill for. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Mark. You got it. That's a, that's a really good deal. All right, so Mark is getting Anthony's seven B offers, folks, and uh, the. 10A for 3250. So any last offer there, we're here Thank before we go that. off the air. Okay. Now I don't know where that puts uh I think they just oh, gave Anthony right. 30 right. or 40 4250. So that actually puts Anthony $25 ahead of Mike. <laughs> Mike just no, got an offer on his 4A for six hundred dollars though. Are you sure? Because I thought I was way above. Dude, I can't. I, I'm just going by what I have in front of me. I can't. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm going by what the what the sheet says. Yeah. Uh, and then you're getting. So you're getting a. 
four A six hundred. You were at nine fifty. What did I have right? on that nine fifty, Bill? You had nine fifty. That was the Ralph Reese. Brent, if you could go seven fifty, I'll do seven fifty for you on that one. This is huge. Trying to get something done. All right, all right. So back, at, yeah. So four A at seven fifty. Uh, if I don't see any other offers, as it says on the screen, we can call this final. Anthony is, or no, uh, what do we got? Mike's, Mike's above. Ahead. Mike's above. Mike's above. Okay, is that? What? No, I got thirty-two fifty, forty-two fifty from that last batch. Guys, well, this is going to be one where we're going to have to go back to the spreadsheet, I think. But at the moment, it, I mean, it's the spreadsheet. Brett just took it for seven fifty. That way, we have no questions. Okay. Oh, All right. Well, I want to sell this burn page for two thousand dollars. Who wants a burn page? Pencils. Oh, I love nights like these. Hey, well, give me my well, lamb chops. Well, I think I got all right. your business. Have a good night. Yeah, there you well, go. Why don't we Get take a look at the lamb chop video it. just just for fun, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, it's just for fun. Oh, look at that mark. After another dueling dealer victory over Anthony Snyder, Batman likes to get his favorite dish, lamb chops, and eat a nice plate of lamb chops after defeating Anthony Snyder on Dueling Dealers at Comic Art. Yum, 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 yum. How hundred is that? Any Richard? others? Oh, boy. Well, Any hey. other lamb chops? Yeah, I got some lamb chops. I thought I was going to hey, win Hey, Richard Del Mendo, Mendo the, uh, it actually sold to uh, Brent MCD uh, for $7.50. So chops. thank you for that offer, though. And R oh, Frank Robert Reese Johnson, the, the Reese piece has sold. So, uh, and, and like, I, sold it for. I think, like, uh, what was it? Jeff said earlier, you both, you both are winners tonight. How about Thunderbolts, Frank Robert Johnson, for 1,000 right. even? Ay, ay, ay. All right, 1,000 even, Thunderbolts. We Your time is up. <laughs> Any last uh, offers, folks? Black 1980s <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, boy. All right, everybody. Listen up. If you claimed any artwork tonight, and there was a lot of artwork claimed tonight, please do not wait until tomorrow. Email both of these gentlemen this evening. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please, please, please include your mailing address in that email as well. It just makes them uh, have all your information right there for them. They will get an invoice out to you right away. Include your handle, whether it was on Facebook, because we had a buyer tonight on Facebook, or YouTube in that email as well. But email them tonight. Oh, it's time for the Hulk cologne, everybody. I, I, I demand a recount. I demand a recount. Don't, don't you worry. Come on. Hulk cologne. Recount. Hey, you would have finished under two hours if we wouldn't yeah. have had that screw up at the start of the show. Hulk cologne. I will do a drawing on my workout show. Everyone that claims something, oh, tune in if you claim something. Yes, and don't something. forget, everybody. Of course, we'll be back here next Brad. Wednesday. Day. But on Monday, we've got a website claim sell show going on with Anthony Snyder. If you weren't aware of that, basically just go to Anthony's website, find some things you'd like to make him an offer on. Make sure they're reasonable offers, everybody, of course. But then what you got to do is you shoot an email to me with the pieces that you want to uh, make the offer on. So, you know, if it's if it's three pieces or a thousand dollars, just put it in the email. It's these three pieces. Give me the links to the pieces as well. Makes my life easier. Say it's a thousand dollars and say what your offer is. And next Monday, we're going to be doing a show where we present the offers to Anthony. And if uh, he accepts the offers or maybe counters them, uh, you know, it'll, yeah, it'll be, a we'll be wheeling and dealing. It'll, and it folks, will be a wheeling and dealing. And listen, we'll be having a show like that, too, folks. So exactly. Well, please, everybody that bought something, please, please put your e put your full address and email. Well, I'll have your email. Put your full address in the emails to me so I have it all. One thousand yeah. dollars so on that Thunderbolt. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great night. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow night on the CAF update.